Sing the whole day long, it's not enough. Hey fam, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, robertanton.com, coming to you with another So You Want to Be a Singer. Why you want to do that? <laughs> It just gets me every time. I don't know why. Um, so what is this going to be about? Well, I was actually chatting on Facebook with someone who was asking me about um, a video that they had shown me. And so we were talking a little bit. And uh, my first thing to say to them was that they were breathing incorrectly. And the reason I could tell that from watching their videos, because every time they took a breath, they went... I can, I can barely do it, but... If you are doing this when you take a breath, then more than likely you are not breathing as a singer breathes. Generally, when a, when a singer breathes, they bring like they breathe like this. I can't even. I don't know if you can see it. So you're breathing from your from your gut. They call it from the diaphragm. Some people call it from the diaphragm. From your gut, you know, from way down. You don't want to be breathing from up here. You want to be breathing from down where the support is. Okay. So the next thing we were talking about was simply about um, warm-ups. And they said they warm up to one of my songs most of the time. And I was like, oh, that's very flattering. But what is the best vocal warm-up out there? Um, and I don't know if anybody, I, I, I hope somebody comes here and tells me a better one because I have not found a better one in the last 30-something years um, since I started warming up this way. And I think it was... Uh, Barbara Streisand who said something like, you know, I can't stand doing scales, but it's the quickest and most effective way to warm up my voice. And this is why. When you are doing scales, you are going from the bottom of your range to the top of your range, to the bottom of your range, to the top of your range. More than likely, five dozen or more times, okay, um, in the course of your warm up. And there is nothing better than touching every single note in your range over and over and over again. Because then you are warming up everything. Sometimes you sing through a song, even if the song has, you know, a wide range, you're not hitting every pitch in those songs. You know, it's got, it's generally got a format where, you know, it's based around certain chords. So you're only hitting certain notes throughout the song. In a vocal warm up, in a in a in scales warm up, you're doing ah, 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 you know, and generally you're doing it on each of the vowels, which is also helping with your placement. Um, you find out every single time that you warm up where your voice is today because we all know sometimes you got a little more top sometimes you got a little more bottom you know so even before performance you know okay I can do this today but maybe I can't do that maybe I need to, to do this differently such and such and so forth if you know of a better vocal warm-up see this should be very short if you know of a better vocal warm-up please attach it as a video response and and tell me what it is so Scales are the best warm-up, and you can find many of those. I always shout out Eric Arsenault for uh, vocal training because he has several very comprehensive videos um, doing vocal warm-ups, breathing exercises, and he gives you tips and, and, and tricks within those videos, and I think they're really great videos. I think they probably are all over a million views by now. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos from Robert Anton right here on Robert Anton NYC at YouTube. Dot com. I could sing the whole day long.